Be sure to check out my store for the stuff I use and templates at a low cost, and get my everything pack so you can have everything in my store at a reduced cost, less than $20 if you tweet it out. What's up guys, Quasi here bringing you guys another tutorial. And today we're going to be doing the light lighting overall. Uh, I'm going to show you like three different things for lighting to keep in mind. So um, this is obviously the final product of what, what this is what we're going to be doing next tutorial, but this is the final product. And this is it without lighting, or I guess the red lighting. I did include the standard lighting, but I'm going to show you how to do that anyway. But yeah, guys, so let's get right into it. So I'm going to show you how to do the colored lighting first. Since most people know how to do it, it's fairly easy. But there's some techniques you can do to just add it, add on to it and make it look even better. So what I'm going to do here is just zoom out. And we're going to create a new layer. So you can see this is like everything and then the color correction is separate. Um, just so you guys are aware. And we're going to select the color we're going to be using. So obviously I'm using red. And you want to get a brush that is fairly big, like bigger than probably the whole piece. So maybe even bigger than this. And I might have to zoom out even more. And you want to have the very edge on the canvas and go around like so. And cr do whatever you want. So maybe you want to do something like that. And then have a little bit in the corner like this. So you don't want to have it too much on the canvas. So if I do something like that. See, it's really distinct and it's a little too much. You kind of just want the ends uh, of the brush, the softness, the edge of the softness. And you get a really nice look with that. And then you, what you can do is go ahead and set that to screen. And that will give it the best look. Um, you can also keep it on normal if you want a little more saturation. Uh, it's up to you guys. But then after you do that, you want to create a new layer. Keep whatever color you have, and you can also do variations of color. Obviously, I'm doing red here, but I could theoretically do like a little bit of orange or other warm colors that would mix well with red. Of course, you want to do the opposite. Like if it's blue, you want to do cool colors like green or something, purple. Um, but yeah, so you can do that. But we're going to go ahead and get some particles here. So I'm going to be using my brushes in the store. You can just use whatever brushes you have with particles. It's up to you. There's like a ton to just go out there and download. You could just Google um, brush particles or br uh, brush splatters like Photoshop and probably find a ton. But I'm just going to go ahead and select this one. If you have my brush pack, uh, what is this called? Scratches 5. And we're going to make this pretty small. And we're just going to get a little bit in like boom, boom. Actually, this is not a very good brush. Uh, let, me, let me do this one instead. Maybe make it smaller. All right, yeah, that should work. Got particles there. Boom, boom, boom. And then obviously I don't want these big gaps, so I'm just going to get the eraser tool. Get rid of them, get rid of that. Get rid of this stuff. And I don't want it too defined, I just want it soft, so like this. And you get something like that, and depending on your particles, you obviously get different looks. And you can go ahead and create a bunch of different variations to get different uh, styles and things and mix it up. Um, but this looks pretty good. I think this looks all right. Um, I just hate these long streaks. I'm trying to get rid of those as much as possible. And boom, there we go. That looks pretty good. Uh, still can add a little more. So you could stop there if you'd like. But you can then also just create a new layer. And this is you could do either the same color or you could do white and set it to overlay. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. So I'll do white and then we want to go to the brush tool, get a soft brush and make it quite small. So I'm going to go like 15 ish, 14 will work. So it's really small. Then you want to come over here to brush presets. Actually, no, that's the wrong one. You want this one brush and you can see you have a bunch of settings here and we just want to play with these. So let's do, scattering and select that and bump up the scattering and then go to shape dynamics and bring up the size jitter and let's see can we play with anything more uh, what else are we missing that should be good actually let's just see what happens if we make the size bigger yeah you can see the different variations that we get down here so let's see let's just go 36 and see how this goes you'll notice I can 
click and just drag and you get stuff like that. Or you could just click individually and get different sizes like so. And I usually stick to where the color is. I like, you can see I put the red here and in this corner and that's where I stick with my particles. I don't like to stray off into different areas. But you can do that, and then with the white, you just have to set it to overlay. Obviously, if you're using red, you can just keep it as is. But then you get something like this, and uh, if you ha add too many, you can just grab the eraser tool and maybe knock out a few or something. Or if some are too like vibrant, like maybe this is too vibrant, you can just get the edge of the brush and kind of erase it to dull it down, stuff like that. But yeah, that's mainly that's the, all the colored lighting. That's basically all you need to know. That's how I create my various lightings. It's actually a new technique that I've been doing. Usually I just did a lot simpler, but yeah. So let's move on to the next thing, which would be any overhead lighting or streak lighting, which you can see I already have streaks going in the background. And so to do that, it's fairly simple. So you can do overhead lighting, which is pretty much the same technique. You get a big brush, but this time you want it to be white. And let's get, is this a new layer or is that, no. We've got to create a new layer. And so obviously you've probably seen this a million times, done this yourself, get a white brush, make it really big, just go over the top and boom, there's some lighting. Pretty simple, that's the best way to do overhead. But sometimes that just doesn't look good enough. So another alternative way, which I've been using a lot more recently, I used to use it a lot way back when, but I, I strayed from it. But you just want to get a smaller brush, Say so this is like 90 and just Whoops, we gotta get rid of the brush presets. I forgot about that. Uh, let's just change scattering and shape dynamics. And there we go. And you just wanna create streaks like so. Cool. Um, I'm actually just gonna resize this and bring it up so there are, there's no bunching up here. And then you can go do filter, blur, Gaussian blur and just bump up the blur to something that you think is appropriate. So like this is practically almost 30, that should look good. And then we can set that to overlay and you get a pretty good look. So obviously this is over the main focal point, the De Gea, but if you look to the sides, you get a really cool look and I already have one going sideways. So that kind of interferes, but you kind of get the concept here. I can bring down the opacity and it looks like sunshine or like sun rays coming in. It just looks really nice. You get some really nice looking stuff. And yeah, it's just something to you can use any way you want. You can see I did it from the side angle here because I didn't have like a defined light source. I was just kind of playing around with different variants. Um, but yeah. All right, and then the third thing you wanna do is whatever your object is, you gotta match the lighting with it. So this De Gea, if I just take away everything here and the CC, you can see this De Gea already had, oops, already had red lighting on it. So when I added mine, which is right here, just barely, and some over here, and I did a little more on the face on this side, I think, but the red lighting was already here, so it was kind of easy to work with, like I didn't have to do too much. But you'll most likely have a object here with no lighting, so when you add your lighting, it's gonna look, it's not gonna look the greatest. So when you have an object, I'm just gonna kinda pen tool a quick object here, like say this is your focal point, and let me just fill it with, we'll do black. This is your thing. You can see the lighting shows up on top of it, but it's not ideal lighting. What you wanna do is create a new layer above and create a clipping mask. And so I wanna add like the red lighting. Say this was like, say this is De Gea. I think this is his head. There's no lighting going on his arms or anything. You just wanna get a brush. And it's kind of the same techniques we were using earlier where you get a big brush get the color so we'll do red and I'm actually gonna make this a little bigger and you just want to click down the side like so and you can see now the lighting looks like it goes around the object and like it's shining on the, on the actual object whatever it is obviously in this case it was De Gea and then you're gonna have to go into like little, little crevices and get different details so say I wanted to get like his nose or something you'd have to bump down the size and probably create a new layer make that a clipping mask, and then his nose would be like somewhere in the middle, you just boom, add your little bit, and you wanna get rid of the rest of this, and you just erase it, like so. And then you have that little red mark wherever on his face or in any crevices in your object, whatever, and you just gotta play around with that. 
So guys, that was a little complex at the end there, but hopefully you guys understand what I'm trying to tell you guys. And yeah, so that's the lighting tutorial of this. The next one will be doing this whole wallpaper or whatever. And yeah, guys, see you in the next one. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at Quezzy. And see you in the next one, guys. Peace.